So I received an email this morning, or maybe late last night, but I didn't really notice it until this morning when I started, when I woke up this morning and started thumbing through my phone. And it was a friend of mine who lives in Africa, and she sent me an email. She said, Kevin, what do you think about this money-making opportunity? What do you think about this side hustle opportunity that I came across on Instagram? And I looked at it, and uh, I analyzed it. I did a little bit of a research, and I responded with my thoughts and my opinions. If you guys care to know more about that, then by all means, reach out and let me know. But at the end of the day, it was in response to the ability to use Spotify, which is a popular music streaming and podcast streaming um, platform. You can send RSS feeds for your syndicate feeds for your podcast audio or any music that you make if you're a music, a musician, a composer, an artist, or whatever. And using this platform, Spotify, to create shorter clips and maximizing their reach and uh, streaming volume to produce $1,200 in royalties. And what was interesting throughout this whole thing, it brought me back to one basic concept, one basic principle, one basic thought process and philosophy behind making money. And this isn't just making money online. This isn't just making money in a traditional job. This isn't making money as some form of contracted or gig worker, a musician, an artist. This is in general, okay? This is making money in investing. This is making money through passive income. This is making money through side hustles. Any way, shape, or form that you are thinking about producing, earning more money, especially right now, especially in times like this, when money is becoming harder, getting harder to come by, when people are tired of being broke, tired of living paycheck to paycheck, tired of struggling to get by and afford the higher priced necessities and essentials and monthly budgets, if they even have one. And it comes down to one basic philosophy, idea, thought process that literally just kind of like hit me like a ton of bricks this morning, Kevin. Make sure you let everybody know. Stick to your guns. So, uh, granted, there's a little bit more to it than just that. But at the end of the day, um, this was an amazing opportunity. To make $1,200 in royalties from posting uh, on Spotify and getting paid in perpetuity, a passive income stream, a direct deposit hitting your bank account in a time like this, who wouldn't want to do that? So for those of you who are interested in producing side hustle, passive income, let me know, hit me up, message me on Patreon. That's going to be the best and easiest way to do it. And I too have to uh, take my own advice, listen to myself as far as sticking to your guns. <sighs> now, long story short, this particular creator uh, who was making content about Spotify was right on time, okay? And she actually has a lot of content on her Instagram about uh, becoming a millionaire, being a CEO, owning your own business, making money the non-traditional way, which is how most of the wealthiest and richest have made their money in a non-traditional way of not working a job, but by building a business, building a company, building a brand, making lots of money and then potentially selling uh, for an undisclosed amount that is typically in the upwards of several millions, hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars. And, you know, it's like the, the fact that this was right on time is linked to the most recent changes that are coming from Spotify. Now, if any of you are creators, sorry about that. Got to get my antioxidants in. I'm hoping to get sponsored by AG1 one day, but today, uh, completely different juice that I have here. But either way, um, Spotify has introduced changes to their uh, monetization and how they're going to pay out their artists and their creators and folks who are uploading to the platform for the revenue earning potential. So it was right on time because 
as I even browsed through YouTube, I saw content from other creators talking about how Spotify is demonetizing some accounts and Spotify could potentially be considered the devil. Crazy accusations, but in reality, Spotify is changing the way that the, their business model and how they're going about paying out. And they're not the only ones. Uh, I think this is going to be a growing trend for the next several months on the way that monetization is paid out for the simple fact that they too have to stick to their guns and they have realized for the longest period of time, probably even more so now than ever before, that their monetization strategy and process wasn't ideal. And it wasn't ideal, not necessarily for the creator, those uploading, but for them, the platform, the host, those businesses and corporations taking their cut, whether it be 20, 30, 40 percent, depending on depending on where you're you're whoever's processing the transaction, which interestingly enough, one of the biggest platforms, OnlyFans, which hasn't really made too many changes, doesn't take that much from their cut of a creator. And that's a great place to make several thousands of dollars a week, maybe several thousand dollars a day, let alone hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, maybe millions uh, annually from OnlyFans. And yeah, you know, it's, it has a certain stigma and connotation and reputation, but it also has another reputation, and that being uh, a, a, um, a uh, diving board, essentially, into the deep end of the pool that is going to allow you to make the most money. And it doesn't even necessarily require you to do some of the things that others are known for with their OnlyFans accounts. And it's even got me thinking about creating my own myself, or maybe sharing one with my wife. But either way, that's neither here nor there. The simple fact of the matter is, is that I think that these platforms are going to change the way that they allow monetization to occur, how they're going to divide up and divvy up and split the revenues earned from the advertising dollars that they bring in. And then that in turn makes the creator the uploader, the artist, or whomever, the, the contractor, the gig worker, reevaluate and re, I don't know, re, redesign their business model to then align with the changes so that they can continue to reach and connect with their audience, but also continue to grow and build and expand and increase their earning opportunities and potential. But at the end of the day, it comes down to the basics of sticking to your guns, sticking to your guns, trusting your gut, that initial feeling, uh, understanding and analyzing the reaction of the audience, the algorithms, and most importantly, similar to the situation that I experienced this morning, reaching out, asking questions, singing, sending an email, you know, just uh, picking up the phone, a direct message, having a call or a chat or a talk or a conversation or a dialogue between you and someone else who may have experienced this already, have experience in similar situations, or maybe have a different perspective or a way in which you can decide and decipher whether or not this is, in fact, a great opportunity for you and a way for you to make money in a time where this is quite possibly the most valuable time ever to make money because things are getting rough. Things are getting rougher. Things are getting tougher. Things are getting increasingly more challenging. And that challenge is, in fact, one of the things that we have been discussing on this channel for many, many months. And that is how your preparation has to be has to be first and foremost financially, because if you're not prepared financially, that is where you're going to ultimately suffer the greatest amount of hardship, the uh, most painful experiences and it's only going to continue to get worse as we continue on here probably for the next for the foreseeable future probably for the next at least one to two years if i had to guess if anything changes i will be sure to let you know but at this point in time i think we're looking at one to two years perhaps maybe longer before we see any substantial changes here so um with that being said I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are uh, 
fighting a good fight. I hope you guys are, are seeing success in all your business ad, business ventures and adventures for that matter. And uh, again, if you ever want to talk, you ever want to chat, then you know how to reach me. Until next time, you guys take care. Be safe. I'll see you real soon. Bye.